Hi. How y'all doing? I hope you're doing fabulous. Now listen. Listen! This video, literally like on a whim, okay? I'm recording this like on a whim. I finished my last video last night, like not even... 12 hours ago. I finished my video 12 hours ago. I finished Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome at like 1 20, 1 30 in the morning last night. And I uploaded it immediately, sent it off to the internet. And I was like, I need to record a video, stat. This genuinely had me shook, okay? So I put up a poll on my Instagram and I said, okay, here's a couple movies, here's a request box, go for it. So the movies I put up was Planet of the Apes, Vertigo, Jaws, and The Prestige. And me being a film major, it is a crime that I haven't seen The Prestige yet because it's highly acclaimed, if not just in like the actual industry, but like with the film nerds as well. So I'm like, it's a crime that I haven't seen it. And then also the fact that I used to be like into magic as a kid, as a like a little junior high, early high schooler, loved magic. I still know some card tricks, like I was into it. The fact I haven't seen it is wild. So I put it on the poll and I thought for sure that one was gonna win or Planet of the Apes because I mentioned it in Thunderdome reaction. And then also I have a poll on my community tab, just like, hey, would y'all watch this video? So I thought it was gonna either be Planet of the Apes or The Prestige. I was shook. I did not think Vertigo was gonna take the polls. I didn't think it. So today's video is Vertigo, 1959. Let me IMDB before I give you false information. 58, 1958, Vertigo, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. I love Alfred Hitchcock. He is a master of cinema, okay? Friggin' genius. Now, what do I know about this movie? Quite a bit, actually. I have seen it before. If you didn't actually like read the title or the, see the thumbnail, I have seen this movie before. I love it, but I haven't seen it since October of last year. So it's been a it's been a few months. I watched it for school because I have a film class. You know, I'm a film major, so like we watch movies in class for class, write essays about movies. Like it's really fun. So yeah, and then I watched it with some friends when I got home for like a weekend in October. So I've seen it twice, and I love it. I didn't see it coming. Like, what do you mean? What do you what do you mean? <laughs> see it coming and then the color theory the music a spiral is the theme for the movie and then the fact that the the music is a spiral it's crazy i'll leave you like the video essay that i saw on this movie oh this movie is so good besides the point that it's beautifully made jimmy stewart <laughs> jimmy stewart i love that man it's a wonderful life this i've seen him in one other thing and i forgot he is fine. Okay, whatever happened to like fine menses? Like, where did they go? They don't exist anymore. Besides Pedro Pascal, that's not the point. The point is Jimmy Stewart, Silver Fox, Kim Novak, Oscar worthy performance in this film. But enough fangirling. I'm really re excited to rewatch this movie and thank you guys so much for voting. It's definitely due for a rewatch, you feel? So let's just get into this. But before we do, I just wanna say thank you for being here because you could be anywhere, but you're here with me and you're watching this movie and I feel so Bless. And if this is your first video with me and you want to see more content like this, why don't you like and subscribe and ring any of the words bell and get notified for when I upload more shenanigans and fangirl because I basically fangirl in all of my videos, as you can probably tell already. I swear it's just tea. Yeah, let's watch. Universal? How cool would a Vertigo ride be at Universal? Low key. <laughs> This freaking music. It's literally a spiral. Like, do you hear that? Like, it's it's a spiral. I love it. Has she not blinked this whole time? Girl, the pop hasn't blinked this whole time. Jeez. I don't know why that scared me. I've seen this movie before. You got this, brother. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh my. Jimmy. Jimmy! Oh! the vertigo zoom. How could I forget about the vertigo zoom? Are you kidding? Which by the way is used in Jaws. So dang, he just fell like that? See, this is why you don't be a hero. This is why you don't be a hero. I'd be like, you know what? I can get a new detective. I can't get a new me. You feel me? Yes, I'm petty. I'm lying. I would go help him and then I would end up dying. Here's the desk. And a pencil falls from the desk down to the floor. And I reach down to pick up the pencil. Bingo, my acrophobia is back. <laughs> oh, Johnny O. I love them. I love them so much, dude. Like, they should have been a thing. They should have been a thing. I stand by it. Have you had any dizzy spells this week? I'm, I'm having one right now. Major, the, the music, don't, don't you think it's sort of... Uh... See? See? What I tell you? It's a brassiere. You know about those things. You're a big boy now. 
<laughs> no shoulder straps, no back straps, but does everything a brassiere should do. That is a big fat lie, especially for girls like me who are apparently a 34G. No, check the lace off. Whatever, man. Whatever. How's your love life, Midge? Oh, okay. Just ask her straight up, I guess. I don't know. There's only one man in the world for me, Johnny O. You mean me? This is... That was such a sad... I can't. See, I told you. I told you this should have been a thing. I told you. Here. Oh, that's a girl. <laughs> I can't. I've been reading romance books, like romance books. This one in particular. He said that's a girl. <laughs> All right, here we go. I used to have that exact same chair when I was a kid. Like, so serious. Yellow and everything. I look up. I look down. Yeah, yeah, that part, the window. Watch the window. Oh, Johnny, Johnny. So dramatic, so dramatic and for no reason, but, you know, whatever. Well, San Francisco's changed. I forget what all the colors mean. Hold on, two seconds. Let me look it up. All this red? Okay, so red is a cautionary color that suggests Scotty's reluctance to get involved with a woman. I would say so. I'm afraid some harm may come to her. From whom? Someone did. Oh, but I'll say allegedly, even though I know what my eyes saw. Do you believe that someone out of the past, someone dead, can enter and take possession of a living being? Yes. I'm not making it up. I wouldn't know how. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. Look, we're going to an opening of the opera tonight. We're dining at a- <gasps> The opera. I love opera. All the red, all of the red. Can we talk about it? Look it, the walls, the carpets, the flowers, the candles, everything is red. And then there is her in green. Sticks out like a sore thumb. This is so masterful, I love it. This green is doing wonders for her. Also, can we talk about the side profile? Girl, and whatever happened to people getting dressed up like that to go out to eat? Like wh whatever happened to it? It makes me depressed, it makes me depressed. Also, how are you not gonna notice that somebody followed you down an alleyway? How are you not gonna notice that? <sighs> and she's surrounded by green, of course. This next shot. Ah! What do you mean? The green light in the mirror and her being in the mirror and we can see Scotty's reaction. What? That's like my favorite shot in the whole film, I swear. Dude, you're not being slick with it. I hate to tell you this, but you're not being slick. Carlotta Valdez, 1831, 1857. How old was she? She would be 26. That's tragedy. <sighs> His suit has hints of maroon. Are you joking? Can we talk about the cathedral behind him? The church and just the buildings in general. This is a pet peeve of mine. I hate the fact that people don't take time to put cutesy little details and fun architecture onto buildings anymore. Like it's all so sleek and just quick to put up. It's not pretty anymore, it's not fun. Like look at the fence posts, the detail in the glass on the door. Are you joking? It's all so beautiful and detailed and it's, a huge pet peeve of mine that nobody puts any design into anything anymore. Oh, but she hasn't been here today. I just saw her come in five minutes ago. Oh, no, she hasn't been here at all. See, that trips me up. That trips me up that she hasn't been there and he just saw her go in the room. What you mean? Babes, we just saw her go in there. And I, oh! Her car is gone. Nah, nah, like that, I would think I was going crazy. Hey. Oh. <laughs> and she was found dancing and singing in cabaret. Ooh! Not cabaret. There's nothing to tell. You'll tell her you'll be back in that corset. <laughs> she said you'll tell her you'll be back in the corset. That is so funny. Oh, please. The idea is that the beautiful Mad Carlotta has come back from the dead and taken possession of Elster's wife. You are correct, sir. Grandmother went insane, took her own life.
Her blood is in Madeline. So y'all calling her mental and suicidal just because her grandma did? See, now that's some bull right there. No, you see, because if I was gonna unalive myself by jumping into some ocean water, I would go off the bridge, not off the, the freaking whatever that is. She's wearing purple. She's wearing purple. And he's wearing green now. Ah! Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Oh no, you see, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, who is you? And she's naked. He had to undress her. I'd have been pissed. What happened? Well, you fell into San Francisco Bay. Now she jumped, sweetheart. She big jumped. Come on over by the fire. Listen, he could tell me anything looking at me with those eyes. You, you feel me like, whoo, yes, sir. Yes, leave me alone. Who are you to judge me? It's more coffee. with a knife, dude. Scotty, Madeline is 26. Carlotta Valdez committed suicide when she was 26. I'm sorry, huh? She's only 26. How old is Scotty, number one? Number two, how old is her husband? Cause listen, age gaps, I don't really care until they start reaching the, t the, the 20s. You know, it's like, yeah, 20 years is too much. <laughs> It sounds to me like Midge is jealous. It looks to me like Midge is jealous that he's spying on a woman. Also, also, this is just a this is just a personal preference thing, but I love the old cameras, how like the blurred background, how like the focus. It's so particular. It doesn't look anything like anything else. The blur of the background looks so specific, and I am just <laughs> obsessed. It's disgusting how beautiful it is. Ah, <sighs> California's beautiful. I should know, I live here. There's a cross section of one of the old trees that's been cut down. There is one tree though. I went to the Redwood Forest one time. There was one tree that was so big, people used it for a dance floor. You know, the Chinese say that once you've saved a person's life, you're responsible for it forever, so I'm committed. That's adorable. That is adorable. There's a tower and a bell in the garden below. Seems to be in Spain. See, when people could tell where you were by the architecture, crazy. Couldn't be the Gen Zers. Somebody don't let me go. I'm here. Stop. I'm done. I'm dying. I'm dead. Rest in peace, me. R.I.P. Me. <laughs> I died dead. <laughs> Are you joking? The waves and the kiss. What? I love this movie, guys. Can you tell? I'm going back to my first love, painting. I hate this scene. This scene breaks my heart, dude. You don't understand. Johnny. Oh, it's not funny, Mitch. You see, this hurts my heart, dude. This hurts my heart so bad. You want oh, Marjorie, would you? Boom! Oh, I love the name Marjorie. Don't even get me started on Taylor Swift's song, Marjorie. <laughs> Woo! Gets me every single time, man. This one just made me listen to Marjorie for the first time of Evermore. Hello? I had the dream. Dream came back again. No, no. It's gonna be alright. The tension? The tension. Woo-wee! Madeline, a hundred miles south of San Francisco, there's an old Spanish mission. San Juan Batista, it's called, and it's been preserved exactly as it was a hundred years ago. As a okay, my question is, hold on, I gotta pause this. I gotta pause this. So you know how What's-His-Face was like, she drove 94 miles. The place is a hundred miles away, roughly. If she's been there before, she would have had to double that to get back. So like, why does she only drive 94 miles, is my question. The math is not mathing. Can I be so honest? One pet peeve I have about old movies is that when they would kiss, there was no passion behind it. They just, ooh! Let me go into the church. Alone. Why? That was a cute little, aw. But anywho's, my point is, the actual lips touching, like there's no passion behind it. But I do like how in old movies when they dance, they like touch faces. That's cute. 
girl. <laughs> I'm just sorry. Oh my god, the way the editing just wee. <laughs> okay. Um of the body showing the actual cause of a death. Note not a single younger man or woman on that jury. <laughs> There was no way for them to understand. You and I know who killed Madeline. And that, oh my goodness. If y'all haven't seen this movie, why are you watching this video? Spoilers, it was you, brother, sir. Like, and we both know what we know. You feel me? Girl. Rumors only grow, and we both know what we know. That though, that falling, so real literally just happened to me last night where you just like lay there and then you just and you feel like you're about to roll off a cliff or some try johnny you're not lost others here who hey girl hey girl and the green she's wearing green okay when I was watching it for class, because my class is an hour and 45 minutes, this is where we paused the movie and then we picked it up last class and then we had like a whole discussion about it. Ugh! Beautiful. Chef's kiss. Well, what is it? Could I ask you a couple of questions? No. Listen, I'm gonna yell in oh, a listen, minute. I, I, I'm not gonna hurt you, honest, I promise. You see, that's a bit sus. That's a bit sus, sir. And whether you're satisfied or not, you can just feed it. Honestly, though, she's so real for like standing up for herself. Like... Will you have dinner with me? Why? Well, I just feel that I owe you something after all. No, no, sis. I'm good. It's a no for me, dog. I have earrings like those. They're colored, but I have earrings like those. Wait, you don't see that? <sighs> oh, the shade. The shade. The shade of it all. This movie is so good. I'm sorry that's like all I've been saying, but this movie is just a masterpiece. Oh no, she's a lefty. Nope, get a new one. Now sure where am I in it? And you could have did it. See? Do you hear the music? How it's going in a spiral? Oh my goodness, I can't. Ah, I have goosebumps. <laughs> Do you see now why I kept pointing out the purple? Because the purple signifies the real her. So Judy, who is supposed to be playing Madeline. See? She looks so good in purple, too. Like, it's just... <sighs> oh, this freaking silhouette. Oh, it's so good. You're looking for the suit that she wore for me. You want me to be dressed like her. Judy, I just want you to look nice. I know the kind of a suit that look well on you. No, I won't do it. I wouldn't do it either. Like, this is so obsessive. Bothering me. I also, I just have a problem. Like I've, I've had several, several guys be super obsessive over me and it's, it's triggering. <laughs> color of your hair. Oh, no. She looks so good as a brunette though. Like. Judy, <sighs> please, it can't matter to you. Oh, new, no, new. No. I'm sorry. I like my hair. I prefer my hair this color. Thanks. I'm good. Will you love me? No, no, sweetheart. Never change yourself for a man. Oh, Eddie, you're sure about the color of the hair? Oh, yes, it's an easy color. Um, sweetheart, an easy color platinum blonde? That is a laughable concept. It should be back from your face and pinned to the neck. I told her that. I told you that. It just didn't seem to suit me. Nah, you see, I'd be, I'd be a little pissed. Like, if you're supposed to, like, love me, and you're trying to change everything I am to look like some other hoe that you seem to like at some point, mildly insulting. You feel me? This part, oh my god. Oh, my share. <sighs> you see? Alfred Hitchcock is just that guy. He's just that guy. Like, he knows what to do. Come here. Oh no, you must me. Well, that's what I had in mind. Oh, come here. <laughs> My God, I love love. Hi, why here? Madeline died here, Judy. I don't want to go. I'd rather oh. wait. To Not see same sis, because like I'd be, I'd be like, nah, girl, you, you, you do you, boo. You do you. I this performance, this performance that Kim Novak gives in this scene right here, Oscar worthy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, like the 1959 Oscar ceremony, where was the award? 
Go up the stairs. No. Go up the stairs. Nah, you see, I, I'd be pissed. I'd be terrified. This, it's a no. No for me, dog. No, ma'am. I've never had vertigo. What's it like, y'all? Like, I don't, I love heights. Like, I genuinely love heights. The necklace, Madeline. That was a slip. I remember the necklace. Oh, my God. oh no, I would dip so fast, sweetheart. No, why, not you. You were the copy. You were the counterfeit, weren't you? Oh. Was she? I'm sorry. He, like... You shouldn't keep souvenirs of a killing. That part. You, you shouldn't have been that sentimental. I'm a sentimental person. I would have messed up so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I heard voices. Girl. Girl. What was even your point in doing that? I don't even understand her point in doing that. share okay let's talk about it okay so that was vertigo in case you can't tell i love this movie but i do want to say it's really weird to me how she was so like up and ready to just let him change her like that like that bothers me a little bit because i'm like girl i don't know but anyways okay, i can go on and on and on about the colors how and the ever like not only is like the colors representative but like we see the same shots and the same scenes and and the repetition because it's a spiral and the spiral is like descending into madness oh it's so good you know what i'm just gonna give y'all this video essay this video essay watch it alfred hitchcock he's so good at what he does it's masterful this outro is gonna be real short and sweet like y'all have to let me know what y'all thought about this movie because it's just so i can't even put it into words how good it is just chef's kiss anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video because i really did this movie is just amazing props to alfred hitchcock jimmy stewart kim novak like they just they ate anyways thank you for coming and hanging out thank you for watching this video and if you like this video like and subscribe and ring a need awards bell so you get notified for when i upload more shenanigans leave some movie suggestions in the comments or go dm me over on instagram i guess i'll catch you back here later in my next video bye